Back now on the ground. Things are heating up in Minnesota again tonight. Mike Tobin is there with us, for us. Mike. Well, Sean, it is heating up, but uh, it's a lot of that pattern that we've seen with the uh, bottles over the crowd, the fireworks going off, and the police are trying. I just heard one of those projectiles fired from the police. Uh, police are mostly trying to keep these demonstrators off the fence, and we're about an hour out of the curfew. You talked about some of the demonstrators who are out here. Let me bring one in. This guy uh, doesn't want to use his name, but he's ex-Navy, says he served on board the USS Princeton. And what he's got here is a prop. Go ahead and show the viewers. That is a... Uh, that's a real pig's head on a stick with the cop hat on. Obviously, you know what that means. First of all, why'd you put together this display? Well, uh, I was out here last night, and uh, I was simply over there having some words with officers. Somebody else uh, sh shone a flashlight on them, and I got maced in the face for the second time by police officers in my life. It hurt really, really bad, and um, I got really, really and Mike, upset, I have a question. and I went and got this pig head and this thing today. All right, go ahead, John. Hey, Sean's got hey, a question Mike, for you. Mike, hey, what about the people that are throwing rocks, bottles, bricks, and, and other projectiles at the cops, and does he paint with such a broad brush and characterize all cops like pigs the way he's holding up there? All right, there's two parts to this question. First of all, what about the people who are throwing rocks, bottles, bricks, whatever, at the cops? Uh, what, uh, how, how is that different than what the cops are doing in response? Uh, well, we don't use tear gas. We don't use gas. Gas is against the Geneva Conventions. It is harmful is harmful. Of course, but that's the, that's, the only, that's the only way they're going to learn anything. It's okay. the only way things could ever change is if people start throwing things. And are you painting with a broad brush? When you do, bring out a symbol like this, you mean all cops are bad? Uh, I think the institution of policing is bad. There's probably some really good folks. Well, what As a matter of fact, I can instead? see it in a lot of their eyes. There's some good folks, but they just have terrible jobs. What do you want instead? Uh, uh, an entirely different way of policing. I want what all of their it? badges Explain. and all of their guns to stand down and to have this building. So the entirely different way of policing, what do you mean by that? I you mean it's some kind of community-oriented policing? Me? me? No. I, I, I'm not qualified to make that decision, but I know smarter people that are. And it all certainly right. isn't what we have now. Well, who, you, are, who are the smarter people? Because we're not seeing that out of these city councils. That's that's true. You can probably talk to them in this uh, in this crowd. A lot of them are giving speeches here tonight. All right, let me get your reaction as far as Kim Potter. She was released on bond today. The charge of second degree manslaughter. What do you Got think a about rap, that, Mike? Uh, to me, that's pretty much an outrage. I think that this lady essentially works for a uh, uh, occupying force here, and she committed an act of war on somebody. I consider that an act of war, and she should not be out on bond, and it is not manslaughter. It is an act of war. Got it. All okay, right. thanks for your opinion. I appreciate you keeping right. it clean. Mike Tobin, Thank you. Uh, Back to you, Sean. great coverage as always. Thank you. Uh,